So we begin in Hampton, where four shooting victims were remembered tonight as loving relatives. One of them was an expert locksmith, another a beautiful singer. Good evening, I'm Russ Spencer. The community gathered tonight to honor the victims of this weekend's mass shooting. Uh, Fox 5's Christopher King joins us now live. And Christopher, it certainly was an emotional night there. Very emotional indeed, Russ. And they held that vigil right here at Kerry Jones Depot Park. They're trying to make sense of that horrific mass shooting. Most of all, they're trying to heal. Family members console each other. They light candles. They say prayers and sing a hymn for the four victims of a deadly mass shooting. It's tragic for this community to go through this. The city of Hampton Monday night held a vigil at Terry Jones Depot Park. Police say on Saturday, Andre Longmore gunned down four of his neighbors, Scott Levitt and his wife, Shirley Levitt, Steve Blizzard and Ronald Jeffers. It just breaks my heart for all the victims and their families. Ellen Etheridge's daughter is also the daughter-in-law of Steve Blizzard. He was the best. Um, a, a good man that would have given his shirt off his back to anybody that asked for help. The victims all lived in the Dogwood Lakes community. Police shot and killed Longmore during a gun battle Sunday afternoon. Three officers wounded. One of them identified as Henry County Sheriff's Corporal David Podsiadli. He remains in the hospital. They're all expected to recover. It could have been anyone of us. Now this community is trying to recover from a gaping emotional wound. I'm having a hard time just dealing with the fact that it's my neighborhood, my safe neighborhood that's been disrupted like this. They attended to their needs. Neighbors say this community is normally very safe. Now some say they feel lulled into a false sense of security. We're live in Hampton. Christopher King, Fox 5 News. Oh, quite a turnout there tonight. Christopher, thank you.